Hi, it's Mary from the Movement Studio. And you know, it's winter time and a lot of people are out cross country skiing and I've been out the last couple weeks and hearing a lot about, you know, my hip and my back and different different aches and pains that crop up when you're doing activities like that. And so in my practice, I am seeing people day in and day out that have chronic right shoulder pain. And this could be, I mean, this, this pattern I talk about, the pain could show up anywhere in the body, but the typical pattern is a lot of people have right shoulder pain and low back pain as well. And when that happens, usually what's going on is the left side of the core is not strong enough. It's not doing its job. Or you could even say that the right side is overworking. So today I wanted to show you three simple exercises that really help bias you into the left oblique muscle or the left side of your core, which can help you stay out of those patterns that cause pain. Okay, the first exercise I wanna show you is really a simple one, and I teach this a lot to people, and you stand with your left leg behind. And then what I want you to do is put most of your weight on your back leg, on the left leg. So you've got 80% of your weight on the left leg. And you just gently move your left hip back a little bit. You're gonna reach forward with your left arm and back with the right arm. And this is actually a part of the gait cycle that you're training in your body that usually gets weak on people. We don't heel strike that well on the left a lot of times. So if I stand here and exhale and reach, as I exhale, my left rib cage goes down and I bias my left side of my core. So you inhale through your nose and then exhale at your mouth and reach. Now, if you feel any tension in your back, it means you're too extended. If you have any pain with this activity, don't do it. And I'm gonna just show you what this looks like from the side. You're just gonna breathe, exhale, and reach the arm and feel the work happening in the left side of the core. So again, that's just a simple way to bias that side. You just stand, take five breaths, repeat it maybe four times. And again, um, if you have any pain in your back, you're not quite doing it right. And you can give me a call and come in for a free discovery session. We can talk about it. Okay, this next activity, again, this is for the left oblique, so right here, and there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm lying on my side, I'm lying on my left side, I'm going to push my top leg down into my bottom leg, and I'm just going to lift my side body a little bit. So this is the first part of this activity. So some people, this is all I do with them. I start right here, just lifting here, and you exhale that ha breath, that like I'm trying to see my breath on a window pane, and it facilitates this side of my core. For some people, this is enough. And if you wanna add a little yoga flair, you just put your arm up in the air. If I wanna advance this a little bit, make it a little harder, I'm gonna lift my hip and maybe bring my arm up or keep it down, doesn't matter. But I'm feeling all this work in here. And I'm breathing, you got to breathe. Exhale out your mouth. Again, you should just feel sensation here. And sometimes this is a little bit hard on people's left shoulder or their neck. And if it is, just don't lift your hips. And hold that for five breaths and repeat it four times. So this next exercise is called the 90-90 hip lift from the Posture Restoration Institute. And this is a really common exercise I give a lot of my clients for multiple reasons. But today the focus for this video is on the left oblique. So what you're gonna do is you lie 90, 90, hips and knees at 90 degrees and your feet are flat on the wall and you keep your feet in contact with the wall. I'm gonna do a little posterior pelvic tilt. So I'm just gonna lift my tail and I'm gonna gently pull my heels down to facilitate the hamstrings on the back of my thighs. Now to emphasize the left oblique, I put my right arm up in the air and again, it's all about the breath and about the exhale. I'm gonna take an inhale through my nose, exhale. And as I exhale, I'm gonna reach the right arm as the right arm reaches up, this left rib cage drops and the left oblique facilitates, it, it contracts. And I just hold here, I stay in the tilt and I just breathe. Again, five breaths, four times, reaching the arm with each exhale, again, to feel this tone and tension being created on the left side of my core. These are great exercises that really help bias this side. Make sure your back feels comfortable. If it is uncomfortable to do a pelvic tilt, don't lift your tail.